And there's a story that you have to hear. It's a story of where the future of our country might be going if we don't stand up and protect her. It's a very sad story, but you have to hear it. I want you to remember where you were when you heard this story. Next up, I want you to welcome softly and gently Shirley Turpin. She's had a, a tragic life. She's very familiar with the socialized medicine that our neighbor to the North Canada offered. Hello, hello. Testing, testing, perfect. And she lost, Shirley Turpin lost her husband, uh, Christopher, uh, to the socialized medicine. And please welcome her up to the podium. This is Shirley Turpin. Hi. I am so blessed to be in this country. <laughs> I said I'm so blessed and grateful to God to be in this country. Um, my first husband um, had cancer, and instead of giving him the, the medicine that he needed for the bowel infection that he had, the doctor kept giving him... <laughs> you had it. <laughs> Hello. Great, we're back. <laughs> All right. Um, we really have to say no to this socialized medicine. Um, it's it's not good. Like I said, my first husband passed away from this socialized medicine. He um, had a bowel infection from the results of the cancer from chemotherapy. And the doctors up there are overworked, underpaid, and they just mill you through like a conveyor belt to in order for them to get their paychecks. And what happened was he um, he developed a bowel infection, and instead of giving him the necessary medicine that he needed to cure the bowel infection, they just kept giving him pain medicine. And they um, give him Demerol, and then from Demerol to morphine, the morphine um, caused his heart rate to go up, and they gave him digoxin to slow it down, and it kept going up, down, up, down. He filled up with fluids, and within a matter of days, he died. And a couple days later, same thing happened to another lady in the intensive care unit as well. And that's the kind of medicine that you guys would be looking at. Um, another time I took my son when he was about, I don't know, he was about seven or eight years old. I took him to the ER. He had cut his head open when he slipped and fell in the bathtub and he hit his head on the faucet. We waited eight and a half hours in the ER with his head bleeding. And then by the time they got us into the room, they couldn't sew it up because it had been open too long. Another time I had a really bad car accident and they uh, it messed around for years trying to tell me that, oh, there was nothing wrong with me. and. I ended up um, coming down here because I had met my husband who was from here, the great state of Indiana, and we uh, came down here and uh, he moved up there with me for a while and he wasn't happy and we moved back down here because we were all happy down here and uh, we ended up finding out that I had a life, uh, a, a life threatening condition. I had a brain stem compression. And the doctors up there for seven years kept saying to me, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong. And I also had um, some severe back problems, and I ended up having to have um, um, surgery on my back. And I had um, rods and screws and bone nails put in my back. And that was the wonderful socialized medicine up there telling me there was nothing wrong. And then I, I ended up having to have life-saving brain surgery two years ago. There again, them telling me up in Canada they couldn't find nothing wrong. Now how can you read an MRI, several doctors, several specialists up there saying there's nothing wrong? What school did they go to? I mean, come on, I almost died. And I mean, my family can attest to the fact that I stopped breathing several times a day. I was on 27 
prescriptions. I was so sick, and I almost died several times. Now, is this the kind of medicine you guys want? No! Well, then you guys need to do something. We need to just harass them constantly and tell them no. And you guys don't want this medicine. People are dying in Canada all the time. You don't want this medicine. So stand up and say no. Thank you very much, Shirley. You're very brave to come up here and share that with us. And uh, it's just uh, a wonderful way to, to close up the day.